okay dear students so this is a big question and it's very important and i would say like this is a different level of question it is difficult let us see please concentrate on the statement now the masses x and y rest first of all the question says they rest on a smooth horizontal surface and are connected by a massless spring the mass of x is 3 kg so this can be written as 3 kg and the mass of y is 6 kg the masses are pushed towards each other until the elastic potential energy stored in the spring becomes 1 joule fine the masses are now released what is the maximum speed reached by the mass y so they're talking about the mass y what is the maximum speed okay fine so uh, we have to first find like when they are compressed so the elastic potential energy stored is one joule now when we are leaving these two masses we are releasing these two masses they will start moving away from each other as if there was an explosion that was taken now these kind of questions these kind of problems they come under the topic of explosion and the conservation of linear momentum is always valid on elastic on collisions as well as explosions so the first equation uh, will be uh, from the momentums and the second equation will be the energy cannot be created nor destroyed so energy is conserved so there are two equations so let us uh, first of all write the energy I, I will say the total energy earlier when both of the bodies they were this the spring was compressed and both of the bodies are at rest so the kinetic energy of both of the bodies is zero the potential energy is one joule so what is the total energy before releasing the masses that will be one joule and when we leave them okay because we want to find the maximum speed reached maximum means that the complete elastic energy has been converted into the kinetic energy so the elastic energy stored in the spring now will become zero it means there is no uh, compression in the spring anymore so the only energy is with the masses and that is the kinetic energy so I can say that it will be half into mass of x into velocity of x square plus half mass of y and velocity of y square. So this is the total kinetic energy is equal to total potential energy. So this is the first equation that we have created. Now the second equation is momentum is conserved for the system and the spring is massless. So where are the masses? Masses are only with the two mass x and mass y. So earlier the masses were at rest when we have compressed the spring the masses are at rest so what is the total momentum at that time zero why because v1 and v2 both of the velocities are zero so the momentum is zero but when we left it they both of the masses they attained some velocity the momentum was generated so we will say that earlier the momentum is zero and the final momentum okay let me write it like this initial momentum for the complete system will be equal to the final momentum for the system so that you don't get confused initial momentum is zero and the final momentum now because momentum is a vector we have to choose one direction as positive and another direction as negative so let us say y is moving in this way this will be positive x will be negative so mass of y into vy minus mass of x into vx so that should be equal to zero masses have been given now there are two variables vx and vy and we have two equations we will solve them how okay i'm having a very less time left now so it will be mx vy and uh, six into vy three into vx so we want to find vy so we will substitute vx now this will be substituted in this equation mass of x is 3 into vx will be 4 into vy square half into 6 kg into vy square is equal to 1 oh my god the time is very very less now 6 and 3 9 vy square is equal to 1 so vy is equal to 1 by 3 